Let's connect the TP-Link RE700X using the WPS button. First of all, plug your extender into the power outlet next to your rotor. Within 16 feet distance is recommended. And make sure the power indicator glows solid blue light. Uh, it may take up to one minute or even more, so be patient and just wait for it to stop blinking. And now locate the WPS button on your rotor. Usually it's on the back panel and usually it's labeled, so you will easily find this button. And then face the right side of the extender and press this button with the padlock icon. Do it within two minutes. That's it. And all you have to do now is to wait and to re refresh your uh, Wi-Fi network list, list on any gadget. So what you need to see, first of all, you need to see four glowing indicators in a row if you have dual band rotor or three indicators if you have single band rotor. And also you will see new network here, which is named same as your main network. This is my main network, my Wi-Fi. And uh, I need to see my Wi-Fi with EXT added to the end, which stands for extender. So 2.4 gigahertz appears first. And let's wait for five gigahertz. That's it, five gigahertz. But let's wait for LED signals on the extender as well. If you don't see these signals for a long time, more than two minutes, try to connect to the network. Let's just, just connect. Uh, we see that it's connected, uh, but in some reason we don't see 2.4G and 5G bands indicated on the extender. But Okay, uh, let's check if we really connect it. Let's, let's me measure the speed. Let's go to speed test, for example. Try to connect. Yeah, we are really connected. We have the internet speed that's good enough for home office, for videos and so on. So you if you have this issue, just try to unplug the extender and plug it back in and once again uh, wait for a couple of minutes uh, the blinking have taken two minutes this time uh, but now we're all set and you can relocate the extender just position it somewhere at the half point between the rotor and the wi-fi dead zone in your house but make sure that the extender is still uh, in the rotor range if you see the red wi-fi indicator it means you have to move the extender closer to your rotor and that's it for now hit the like button subscribe to the channel and be awesome bye guys